Welcome to this tutorial. In this simulation, we are modeling a two-stage thermal and catalytic conversion system to process a plastic and tire waste into valuable fuel gases. Uh, this is uh, based on the principle of the pyrolysis and the fluidized bed uh, catalytic cracking uh, using a zeolite catalyst. Well, uh, what we are doing uh, in the simulation well, the simulation involves uh, two processes. One is a pyrolysis reactor, uh, which uh, uh, indicated here. And the second is a fluidized bed reactor. Uh, following uh, the simulation, uh, for the first, I just want to uh, discuss about the processes, uh, what's happening inside the system, and uh, we will uh, go on with the simulation. Uh, well, the system begins uh, with the pyrolysis of the reactor, where we fit the plastic or uh, tire waste uh, inside the reactor. These materials are heated uh, uh, in the absence of the oxygen, causing uh, them to decompose uh, thermally into a mixture of the uh, hydrocarbon vapors, mostly long chain molecules like uh, decaying and heptane. Uh, then these uh, vapors coming uh, outside of this reactor and getting inside uh, the fluidized bed uh, reactor. Uh, well, uh, these vapors then flow directly into a fluidized bed catalytic reactor. Here uh, they come into contact with the zeolite catalyst particles suspended by a flow of the vapor which uh, provides excellent surface area for uh, reactions uh, well uh, as i said uh, we have uh, two stages stage one uh, we added the vest like tires in the plastic and then uh, heat it up and uh, we get hydrocarbons long chain hydrocarbons and uh, stage two uh, we are gonna working and we are gonna simulate uh, stage two and uh, uh, cracking of uh, long chain hydrocarbons to, into smaller ones like propylene, butane, and ethane. Also, uh, aromatization and uh, dehydrogenation. Uh, well, as you see here, uh, this is the pyrolysis of the reactor, and uh, we are heating up, and uh, vapor uh, coming inside of the uh, catalytic um, fluidized catalytic bed reactor with the absence of the oxygen uh, with the absence of the oxygen they are not uh, burned so uh, they are getting contact with the surface of the catalyst so catalyst uh, contained uh, active area on the surface of the catalyst so uh, the catalyst uh, can breaking the long chain hydrocarbons into smaller chain hydrocarbons and uh, uh, they convert it to smaller chain and then uh, deabsorb from uh, the catalyst then uh, go forward to uh, outlet of the reactor well in this uh, simulation and uh, we are gonna just simulate fluidized bed reactor and uh, the catalyst is uh, fixed and uh, uh, it's the batch system and uh, it's added before and as you see it's the zeolite catalyst <clears throat> this reaction taking place on the surface of the catalyst uh, we will simulate this what's going on inside the uh, fluidized bed reactor and we will see uh, the effect of the temperature distribution uh, also, other parameters uh, like uh, concentration of the each component along uh, the reactor and uh, different parameters, as I said. Well, um, for now, we will proceed uh, with uh, building a geometry uh, because uh, for uh, simulation is necessary. And uh, then we will uh, proceed with the uh, meshing part to create the finite volume and uh, because equation uh, equations are solving uh, 
uh, inside the cells. Uh, and then uh, we will forward with the uh, uh, setup and the post-processing in the part two of this tutorial. Uh, well, uh, let's uh, start uh, with uh, simulation and building a geometry. Well, here is the environment of uh, the new design modeler and uh, uh, first we need to uh, select our uh, unit then uh, we will start to sketch uh, the reactor body, the cylinder so we will select uh, the XY plane in the new sketch then we will draw a circle uh, with the center at the origin Oh, well, the diameter will be 0 0.2 and uh, then uh, we will extrude it to create uh, main body and uh, the depth will be uh, 1.5 meter and the operation will be at material and the direction uh, will be normal. Well. It's uh, 1.5 and uh, we clicked on uh, extrude and as you see, it's the uh, main body. Uh, for the next, uh, what we are going to do is to create a bottom inlet. So we will select the bottom face of the reactor and the new sketch to draw a smaller circle uh, at the center, the diameter will be uh, 0 0.03 uh, and uh, we will uh, proceed with uh, building a small circle uh, with a diameter of uh, zero, uh, 0 0.03 then uh, we will extrude uh, this circle uh, downward with the height of uh, 0 0.1 then uh, pay attention the operation will be add material and uh, everything is okay uh, circle of the top so we will uh, select the face of the top and uh, a new plane and uh, click on sketch uh, the red, uh, we will draw a circle same size or larger than the inlet. Uh, the radius or uh, diameter will be uh, 0.04 and uh, we will do same. Yes. 0.04 and uh, click on generate and we will use extrude and the pay attention uh, to operation it will be at material uh, yes the direction also is a normal and uh, the depth will be 0 0.1 as you see uh, the outlet has been created and everything is good and uh, what we need to do now we are creating a, a circle at the origin with this uh, diameter of uh, the reactor and uh, then we will extrude it uh, but pay attention uh, for operation we should use at frozen um, it's a quite necessary to use this tool and uh, the depth will be 0 0.6 uh, yes 0 yes 0 0.6 
okay uh, pay attention as I said uh, it will be at frozen so you can assign a separate zone in the fluid as you see uh, the separate zone has been created uh, to create uh, a bed of uh, catalyst so then uh, what we are going to do is to uh, select a name uh, for inlet, for outlet, for uh, reactor wall, for volume of the reactor, for volume of the catalyst, for uh, catalyst wall. Uh, they should be crystal clear because ANSYS uh, try to know this name and uh, if you write velocity inlet, uh, the type of your boundary will be velocity inlet. Or you can uh, change uh, during the simulation. Well, I start with the face selection and then uh, click on uh, apply. Then here will be gas inlet. Gas inlet, yes. And the second one, uh, I will I will use uh, the same processes. I will uh, select the face button and then uh, name selection geometry. Yes, name. Sorry. Yes. Yes, everything is okay. Select, name selection, click and apply. And then here will be gas outlet. Gas outlet. And the other will be reactor wall. Uh, we will use uh, the face selection. Uh, because we are not working with the volume of uh, the reactor right now, uh, we select the face of uh, the uh, reactor uh, to analyze uh, thermal uh, condition or another uh, analysis. Well, uh, we will use the face and uh, I will proceed with the name selection and click on apply three faces uh, have been selected and uh, here will be reactor wall okay reactor wall and then click on apply uh, well the other will be uh, catalyst zone here uh, we will use uh, body and volume selection and uh, click on apply and the uh, catalyst zone okay and the other will be a reactor zone i will uh, use uh, volume i mean uh, then volume of the reactor should be chosen and the geometry should be selected okay click on apply then this will be reactor zone this will be reactor zone uh, well after these processes, uh, we are gonna proceed with the meshing pr processes uh, to create uh, our finite volume meshes. As you see, uh, the, our name, uh, our names uh, have been selected, and we have a two parts solid part for uh, for reactor, and second the part for uh, bed of the. Uh, catalyst or reactor well we will proceed with the uh, meshing well here is uh, the fluent meshing and this is our geometry and this is our bed uh, I have done the mesh before 
But um, I will briefly discuss about uh, what I have done to create uh, the meshing section. Well, uh, I've used uh, face sizing, I've used uh, sizing and uh, create the face, and I have added the uh, element size to 0 0.00. Two. Then uh, I've uh, gave uh, this parameter. Uh, why I've done for inlet? Because for the inlet, I have a gradient, and uh, it's a better uh, to betterly capture our fluid flow behavior, and uh, it's avoid uh, to like uh, bad curve emergence. Well, another is uh, second face sizing. And uh, it's for outlet for the P4, and the uh, third one for body of uh, the reactor from the geometry. It's our reactor, and I will hide it, and uh, you will see the bed and the mesh also uh, for the bed. It's a uh, good. And uh, let me to show you show body, okay? And uh, this is uh, our mesh. It's uh, good and uh, about minimum orthogonal quality and uh, maximum swiftness. And uh, I will increase uh, other parameters or bad meshes uh, by the refinement or. Uh, uh, at the setup, I will just uh, con I will I um, I will mostly concentrate on the create of the main main mesh, and uh, here is a detail out of our meshing about the sizing. If you want, you can use uh, and uh, about inflation and advanced setup and static. So this this was our. A mesh and uh, we will proceed with the setup uh, at the second part this was the first part at the second part uh, we will uh, implement uh, boundary conditions and the reactions it's a quite important part and uh, how reaction is how reactions are defined Mm, on the bed and uh, we will implement uh, prosody of uh, the catalyst and uh, other condition wall condition boundary condition and velocity inlet and for the outlet we are going to use a pressure outlet and about the solvers uh, which we are going to use to solve uh, the convergence of this fluidized bed and uh, to see a different parameter uh, how uh, they are changing. So for the first part, uh, uh, it's until here, and for the second part, we will start with the uh, setup and the post processing.